Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and in this video I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite techniques. When I was in the first grade, we had this art project to make snowflakes, and the little trick our art teacher showed us was a way to make symmetry with a technique that I call backtracing. So today I am going to show you how I use this technique now to transfer my line art for all of my artwork. But before I move on, turns out that 75% of you watching aren't subscribed. So if you'd be so kind, gently press the subscribe button for me and let's get on with it. The paper I use is regular cheap printer paper. I use this because it's very cheap and it's quite thin so you can even use it for tracing. So whether you sketched your subject or traced the purpose of this technique is to get your final drawing onto your good paper. When sketching, you want to avoid all of the eraser marks because sometimes it can ruin the good paper, and good paper isn't cheap, like this stuff. Also, some of that good paper is just too thick for tracing. So now that you have your cheap paper, either sketch or trace your line art onto it. Generally, what I like to do is bring my line art into Photoshop so I can scale it to the size I want. Then I just trace it right off of my monitor. Good papers are far too thick for me to do this. The other option is to just print your line art if you have a printer, I do not. And if you want it bigger than what you can print, print it in sections and just tape it together. Okay, now you have your line art on your cheap paper. It's time to transfer it to the good stuff. Simply flip your drawing over and cover the backside of your lines with graphite. I recommend soft graphite like 4B or 6B. You don't need a ton of graphite, just an even amount. Now we are ready to backtrace our lines to the good paper. Carefully place your scratch paper and tape it into place. Try not to press on the paper, otherwise you'll transfer some of the graphite where you don't want it. And the next step is to retrace your line art. One thing to keep in mind with this step is you do not have to press hard. There is a tendency to feel like you have to press extra hard to get the transfer to show up. I can assure you that it is not the case. Now you may be wondering, can't I just use transfer paper for this? Well, yes, of course you can, but then you also have to buy transfer paper. And having used transfer paper myself, I find it significantly more messy and delicate than just applying graphite to the back of my scratch paper. And now the final step is to join the art club. Because this line art you see here is just one of many projects you can find full tutorials of. All of the projects are live streamed so you can follow along with every pencil stroke from beginning to end. Don't see a project you like? Well, every single project is based on member suggestions. So let me know what you want to do next and I'll make it happen. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this fun little technique. I have been using this since I was six years old and it is still my favorite. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, leave any questions you may have in the comments below, and I'll see you in the art club. Take care. Peace.